Hi guys, a very warm welcome back to Motorbid Adventures. There's a little bit of trepidation in the air this morning, well, isn't there? <laughs> there is a bit, yes. So we've invested in our wonderful scooter. Peggy. Peggy the Pegasus. <laughs> um, and now we're going to attempt to put it on the scooter. Um, put we're a little it on bit... the scooter? Oh, sorry, I meant on the trailer. <laughs> If we're going to put Peggy on Peggy, that would be a challenge, yes. <laughs> Peggy um, on the trailer, or the trailer on Peggy. I mean, it could be either, to be fair. No wonder there's trepidation, because we don't know what we're doing. No. <laughs> In all seriousness, yeah. we're going to be putting our um, motorbike on the trailer. Yeah. And um, it's going to take the two of us, and we, we are wondering how easy or hard it's going to be. So, fingers crossed, it's easy. Yeah, it's about <laughs> minus two out there as well, so we're going yeah. to be wrapped up in about 18 layers. But it's got to be done... We've got it now, so we're going to have to practice getting it on the trailer and seeing if we can work out how to fit it all together. So come. Let's, let's come with us and let's see how it goes. Yes, and hopefully we'll be back to tell the tale. <laughs> it's time, isn't it? Yes, it time is. Time to yeah. give it a try. Give it a try. We've got to try and get the good old Peggy the Scoot. On Peggy the, the Pegasus onto the trailer, so... What the uh, drop the trailer on to the tow bar, move this piece. Um, there's about three positions on here, so I moved it out to the end because the overall width of Peggy the Scoot is 2.22, I think 2.22. The bed is two meters, so we're going to be just we just need the front wheel to be slightly over the end, as it were, on the furthest setting. So. That's the plan anyway. And it's winter, isn't it? It's freezing. <laughs> what are we doing? It's a bit fresh, yes. It's got to be tried though. Just imagine when it's about 30 degrees. Oh. Yes, 30 degrees. That will be slightly better. Slightly better. Right, let's try. We've taken the ramp off the trailer. So let's get that one positioned. <coughs> that, uh, that comes up and hooks over the back, cunningly using the slope of the pavement here, it gives us a bit of a heads up. There we go. The launch ramp. This is going to be a bit like, like you're on I an can angle. feel it's going to be a bit like Evil Knievel, do you think? So, no, I don't think we're going to ride it up there, are we? No. <laughs> Can you add? No, I reckon if it's a bit like Evil Knievel, we'll be straight up the ramp and we could probably, look, we're lined up perfectly for Ian's gate over there. So we could probably manage to jump the gate if we went really quick up the ramp. What yeah. do you think, guys? Oh, no problem. Yeah. On a more serious note, yes, we'll just have to look for lots of sites now with uh, pavements and hills next to it so we can have the ramp as shallow as that. <laughs> <laughs> Which might be a bit of finding. So, right, anyway, let's get the scoop. Oh, Phase on. one. <laughs> yes, we, pu we pushed it up the ramp and we didn't go into the neighbour's garden. So Nicky's just supporting it up there. And I've got to now do some jiggery pokery to get everything set up so it drops onto the handlebars there. That's the plan anyway. Well, phase one. And we worked out that once we have got it up, this bar wasn't quite high enough. So we've now got another two adjustment holes at the bottom there. So next job, lift up the frame. But it sits there waiting to go back up. You just stay there, Peggy, and don't move. And yes, thank God for, thank God for impact drivers. And it is just about there, we think. So we had a fair bit of messing around. We lifted up this frame that goes along the back there. That's gone up uh, a couple of notches around the, uh, around the back, just uh, on these adjustment holes. And then we've taken one strap down midpoint strap across the front and strap around this side all of which just stay clear of uh, 
any body work, although uh, I might drop a towel or something down there on the inside of the strap, but at the moment it's still got a fair bit of light before it and it's pretty tight. I haven't wound them up fully yet, but and then we had to do a bit of jiggery pokery with these um, to get them set up right, but we're just about there now. They just sit down there, see the uh, and then the securing pin which comes through underneath there. Put a strap across the front tire for a minute, may or may not leave that one there. And then similarly, you see that one comes in over this handlebar rubber there and securing pin under there. Nearly there, aren't we? Oh, look, and you found a towel. <laughs> Are you wrapping her up because she's getting cold? Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Giving her a blanket. You know about her, I'm freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit fresh out here. And then nothing like a spare hand towel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's sort of... Yeah, and it's just... There's still some movement in that. It's not, it's not quite touching any body works. So that's the main thing that we've all bit any movement of the bike there and then the whole thing moves rather than it's a, a rather than it causing an abrasion as such but there is at the end of the day there's only going to be one way to find out how it all works to take it for a little jaunt and uh, a see if we come back with it still on the trailer and b, <laughs> b, <laughs> and b, <laughs> b whether there's any marks any marks uh, from where the strapping is, but no, that's not doing too bad. That I'm getting happier with the uh, with the setup. What do you reckon? Ready for a spin, are we? Yeah, let's give it a go. Well, <laughs> oh, that's a bit scary, isn't it? You think, have I done up all the straps? Yeah, and is it tight? Is it there? Is it ready to go? Well, one way to find out. Let's do it. Let's go for a bin. Bike on the back. Yeah. With the Swap to the camera. It's still there and we've done 150 meters. That's a right result. <laughs> Let's go. We'll go up to the roundabout there. There you go, there's it turning. Back onto the straight. So Bob's just gonna practice reversing the straight line to begin with. That doesn't seem too bad. Sort of responds very quickly, so it's a little bit jiggling here and there, but um, keeping it fairly straight. So far, so good. I think Bob's only going to try and reverse around this edge here in the car park but uh, keeping an eye on the angle of the trailer as it reverses and that's the gap we've got to worry about um, here but so far so good luckily the rear view camera helps us with that as well you can see the angle the uh, trailers put into as we reverse yeah, that's going well. I'm just going to keep that angle away from the van. It's getting a bit close, so I might have to do a bit of jiggling, jiggly pokery on this bit. Straighten it out a little bit, and then come back again. It seems to be going well. I mean, hopefully there's not going to be many occasions where we do have to back up like this but um, it's worth knowing how the trade responds in case we did have to 
before we just prepared for it. That right, seems to be working well. Yeah. Excellent. And the bike stayed on. <laughs> So Bob's just going to use the rear view camera on this one just to see how that uh, helps with reversing in a straight line. Seems to be a bit more effective than uh, not using it. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we're going forward with full lock on the van and the trailer only goes that far at that angle which is good to know because it's uh, clear of the back of the van um, so we know that going forward on full lock is fine with the trailer which is reassuring well we survived back from the um Oh, so easy to manoeuvre in it around those car parks. I don't know. Don't know what all the fuss is. Or it may be the fact that there was absolutely nothing in the car park, which of course helped. You're doing a balancing act up there. <laughs> so yes, we're back anyway. Now we would love to hear those of you that haul these, um, obviously on a trailer. Um, but either way, in fact, trailer or indeed on the back of the moho, let us know um, in terms of straps and how you secure them. Um, if there's anything we could add, any advice that you'd give us for any further um, methods of uh, securing the bike down, apart from the uh, straps that we've got each side there, whether there's a better one, that one came loose, the blue one that was on there, so whether there's anything better that you guys use that might, um, might clamp that front bit there, because obviously the ratchet straps are too, uh, too long for that, but yeah, any... Um, any advice and input and observations, we of course would love to hear from you about how you shunt around your scooters, motorbikes, mopeds, whatever you may be towing or taking with you with your motorhome. We'd love to hear from you. Um, so that is trip one. Well, we're back home <laughs> safely. Yes. Was the, is the scooter with us? The scooter's with us. <laughs> um, Bob's magic manoeuvring worked. Oh, yeah. We, we managed to work out the angles that the trailer could uh, tolerate before hitting the back of the uh, van. I've just got to find somewhere which has got like five acres with nobody else in it at all, and then I'll be absolutely fine reversing. Don't know what all the fuss is about. No, exactly. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we made it, and it wasn't as hard as we thought it was. was no, it? no, no. It was actually pretty easy to get it on the trailer. The, the fiddly bits was um, yeah. strapping it down yeah. and then working out um, how the trailer responds. But um, yeah, it was very successful in all. Yeah, it was. I had a bit of a uh, bit of a start of a ten when I used to have a pickup truck. And I had a twin axle eye for Williams trailer on the back, so that gave me a bit of an insight into reversing. But uh, but again, a lot different when uh, with a slightly larger motorhome, albeit that rear camera definitely helped a bit. Yeah, I'm liking rear cameras for reversing that little trailer on the back. So thanks for watching Bob's magic manoeuvring. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a whole separate channel. It could, it? yeah. Bob's magic manoeuvring. Car, the chance of the business opportunities. Oh, I know. I, don't know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you guys uh, good to have you along and uh, thanks ever so much for watching don't forget give us a like um, and you can even subscribe as well yes absolutely bye see guys you soon. bye, bye.